my style would probably best be described as relatable. I'm just a simple guy from rural Georgia, and I always speak at the same level of, of a patient, whether it be an older patient or a younger patient speaking to their parents and to the patient. And my goal is to be a relatable guy that, that, that they can really uh, place their trust into. And, and I don't take that lightly because that's an honor to be in that position. What led me to this very specialized field is in a previous life, I was a very active whitewater kayaker and I understood rivers a lot. And whitewater to me is hemodynamics, blood flow going around the heart and, and how it flows and all the intricacies of that. But then it morphed into the the patient population and specifically congenital heart disease, that is heart disease that you're born with. One in a hundred people will have congenital heart disease, but 25% of that one in a hundred people will have to have a surgery or a cath within the first six months of their life. Congenital heart disease, think of it as um, plumbing gone wrong. You know, how do we how do we make the plumbing, everything hook up right? Because maybe you have not as many chambers in the heart as another person, or maybe you have an extra vessel that another person doesn't have, or a whole where you shouldn't and so really it's about creating the most stable hemodynamics uh, within the cardiovascular system as our field as a whole has gotten better and better at treating these patients um, now they're turning into adults and so understanding how to treat these adults with congenital heart disease has been a very exciting um, aspect of my career we have a lot of different techniques and specifically to my field we do uh, minimally invasive procedures so transcatheter based procedures these are minimally invasive through the legs, the arms, the neck, uh, any vessel to get to the heart and perform those procedures. One of my most exciting fields uh, that I work in is the transcatheter valve replacement. So that is replacing a heart valve through a catheter-based procedure. So avoiding an open heart surgery, which is which can be truly a novel um, approach, especially when you're dealing with children who have to grow to adult size and may go through and necessitate multiple heart valves. And so being able to do and lessen the amount of open heart procedures they receive, it's a is an exciting opportunity. It's really a, a very rapidly evolving and neat aspect of our, of our field. To be able to come to work every day and believe in the work that you're doing, it really makes the difference. And it makes the difference to ultimately what's important, which is the patient care. 